Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to start a new series on American Civil War strategic level games. We're going to be starting off with this one, the American Civil War 1861 to 1865 from Strategy and Tactics slash TSR number 93. Let's see here. The game was designed by Bruce Shelley and Joseph Reiser and David Ritchie. Uh, let's see here. Game development was Joseph Reiser and David J. Ritchie. Rules editing, David J. Ritchie and Deborah C. Ritchie. Graphic design was Christine Baretzel and Deborah Stubbe, or Stubb. Cover art, Jim Holiday, production, Troy Denning, Anne C. Gray, Eileen Lucas, and David LaForce. The introduction is American Civil War is a strategic two-player game about the war between the states, 1861 to 1865. The U.S. player takes the role of President Abraham Lincoln. The CSA player takes the role of Confederate President John Jefferson Davis. During the course of the game, the players take turns moving playing pieces, representing their troops across the map, and using those pieces to attack the opposing players' pieces and making strategic decisions regarding officer assignments and resource allocations. This is going to be the first game that I'm going to play. I'm going to try to do turn by turn, but with my track record, uh, we'll see. The American Civil War. Our nation's bloodiest and saddest war, from which banners still fly in the minds of some and hatred still stain the lives of many. This is a Strategy and Tactics magazine, back when Strategy and Tactics was actually owned by SPI. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Let's see if I can read the. It's issue number 43. Um, I'm not sure what else it says. Anyway, it's copyright 1974. And, like it says, it's uh, a strategic level game on the American Civil War. This graphics are going to, you know, reflect the time and the period in which the game was made which means they won't be very flashy, but anyway, we're going to play this one second. The introduction is, the American Civil War is a simulation on a strategic scale of the fratricidal war between the states between June of 1861 and June of 1865. The simulation is primarily of the land conflicts between the North and South, with some secondary simulation of the Union Naval and Riverine forces. The game covers the entire war in seasonal turns, Optional scenarios allow players to simulate the effects of border states changing sides, of European recognition of the Confederacy, and of Euro European intervention in the conflict. Okay, the next game we're going to look at. One of the next games we'll look at is The War for the Union by Clash of Armed Games. This is the first edition, not the latest one that has come out. Uh, let's see here. Kind of information we have on it. Um, I don't give you much information on the uh, basic rules. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, I know it's designed designed by Mark McLaughlin, I believe, but they're just not going to tell me here. Anyway, War for the Union is the American Civil War from 1861 to 1865. I'm detecting a pattern here. Here we go. Game credits and acknowledgments. Zoom in here. Whoa, here. Oh, I was wrong. Game credits and acknowledgments. Game design by Robert Bema. Game design Steve Rawling and John Southard. Production Coordination, Steve Rawling. Historical Assistants, Gary Selkirk and Lee Tenney. 
Historical Commentary, Robert J. Bema and Andy Nunes. Rules Editing by Steve Rawling. Map Research, Rob Bema and Rick Barber. Calligraphy by Wayne Robinson. Box Art by Rick Barber and Graphics by Rick Barber. A name that should be very familiar with most seasoned wargamers. Typesetting, Carl Beats. Playtesting and Coalition, Andy Alexander, Rich Allen, Carl Beats, Thomas Bell, Phil Boinsky, or Boinsk, yeah, Boinsky, James Cook, Robert Croker, Craig Daniels, Robert Faulkner, Brian Gustums, Gustums, John Jacobs, Scott Klum, Doug Leslie, Michael Lynn, Rob Markham, Robert Marion, Bob Madro, Andy Nunez, Jack Parks, Steve Rawling, Dan Riego, James Ryan, Johnny Scott, Mark Seaman, Gary Selkirk, Lee Tinney, Tim, Ty Tim Tynan, Ed Wimble, and Harold Wood. This pretty much is a, um, a group of names. Like I said, it should be familiar and kind of reads as a And that will be played down the road. The next game I'm going to try is... It will be A House Divided, the American Civil War, 1861 to 1865. A strategical board game by Frank Chadwick. This, I think, is the latest uh, iteration of the game. It was produced by Phalanx Games. Let's see what it says on the back of the box. One of the larger boxes. Uh that I have on the Civil War. Let's see what we got here. Uh, House Divided simulates the epic struggle of the issues of slavery and states' rights. Let's see here. The period from 1840 to 1861 saw the issues brought to a boil and in 1861 the nation became engulfed in a terrible war that lasted four long years. So this is a very classic game. Produced by one of the finest game designers in the business, then and now, I feel. Uh, this version is from 19, originally 1981 to 1989. This version, I'm not sure. I'm not seeing anything uh, indicating it here without opening it up, and I'm just not going to do that right now. Um, is made in Germany, if that means anything. And uh, it takes two uh, it's up to two players, 12 and over, 60 minutes playing time. So we'll be looking at this one in the near future as well. We'll be taking a look at this uh, game. I doubt very many of you have heard about it. It's so rare and hardly ever played. Um, the game is, of course, the Civil War, 19, <laughs> 19, 1861 to 1865, the classic Civil War by Victory Games. This game was made in, let's see, when was it produced? 82, 83? Let's see here. Sometime around then. Let's see. Move the camera up a little bit. Let's see. Victory Games, 1983. What was I, 21 years old? Sounds like it. Complexity is high. Solitaire suitability is also high. And I will say one thing at the moment. I will be going back over most of these uh, introductions and box blurbs. So, you know, you're, that's just going to be a going to be a thing. Contents, 520 half-inch counters, 222 by 32 inch map sheets, a rules booklet, four six-sided dice, two identical 11 by 16 player aid cards, and one counter storage tray. This game uh, is a classic, as most of you know. It was one of the first games to really show the war in um, a playable format. I know SBI had the War Between the States, which was their, one of their monster games. I don't have it. Um, I had the reissue by Decision Games, but I got rid of it as quickly as possible because I'm... I just loathe the 
decision games and their products and their way of doing business. But that's just me. So anyway, we'll probably be, probably be pursuing this one last because it's been eons since I played it. And I will be playing it eh, to the best that I can. Like I said, I've only played it a few times, and that was eons ago, so chances are um, you'll have a few good laughs in that video. Other than that, um, I don't really own any other Grand Strategic Civil War games um, that I can think of at the moment. But, uh, yeah, I think this is what we're going to go with at the moment. If I can find any more, I will probably do some videos on them. I do have the new uh, let's see, War for the Union. It's uh, I have it sitting in a box. It's a Christmas present. And let's see. I don't know. I think that's about it that I have. But uh, most of the others are tactical level. So, anyway, this is a little something that's going to be coming up in the next uh, within the next few weeks to probably a, most of next year, or at least the first part, or until I get horribly burned out and move on to something else. And there will be other things in between. Um, I'm not going to just focus on the strategic level of Civil War. I'm also going to look at other things. I've got a few other things I want to go through, like No Trumpets, No Drums, which is kind of setting up over here. That's come later. I'm also going to try and produce a video or two on Autumn Mist. Excuse me here. Battle of the Bulge. Uh, I think it's designed by Brian Train, and it's part of the defunct Counter Strike mini game system from Fiery Dragon, uh, who had the original rights to it. But it looks kind of interesting. And so I'm going to give that a shot. So, with that, I think I'm going to end this particular video. And the next one you see will probably be um, some playthrough of American Civil War, 1861-1865, Strategy and Tactics number 93. And that's going to be all. Over and out.